Hey, what is up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. So before I even get started in this video, if you are new to my channel, welcome, join the family. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and most importantly, don't forget to turn on the post notifications because you'll get notified when I post. So I have been getting a lot, a lot of requests to do a story time about when I first lost my virginity, my first time. Um, uh, some advice, some tips, pros, cons. So, as always, I always give you guys what you want. So, I'm going to be doing, uh, I guess you could say it's a story time, but the time I lost my virginity, aka the time I bottomed, lost my virginity, whatever you want to call it, tossed my salad. Let's get into this video, though. So, I didn't lose my virginity until I was actually 18. I know that's so crazy, but I'm gonna take it back to when I was in high school. Once I knew I was gay, I knew I was a bottom, obviously. I knew I liked manly guys. I knew I would be the girl in the relationship. I knew I would be the one throwing this booty completely back. I knew, I did a little research myself, I, you know, no friends that have bottomed before. I obviously ask questions, I obviously see if it's gonna hurt, this, this, that. So, to me, my virginity, like, a lot of people are so different. To me, my backdoor virginity, that's like a virginity, that's my virginity. To my mindset and motto and mentality was I'm not just gonna give it to nobody, I'm not just gonna give it to a random grinder hookup a random guy because why am i just gonna give something it means a lot to me just to a random person just to take it like to me this was something big because i was like okay like this i'm gay like i'm not just gonna be out here having sex with anyone so if you're gonna get it you're gonna either be my husband my boyfriend like to give it to someone that either I really loved or that was like my boyfriend just someone I knew okay I was like okay just I wanted to give it to someone that I was gonna be able to be to be like okay I gave my virginity to him I'm okay with that so I never tried through high school um, I really never like a lot of guys throughout my whole life offered plenty of times plenty of times trust me honey plenty of times but I always turned down the thing and they would always ask me why and a lot of people when I would tell them like oh yeah I'm a virgin I've never bought them this and that they're like you're lying you're lying you're lying like why do I gotta lie for it's nothing to lie about like it's nothing to be ashamed about like if you're a virgin and it's 2018 and you're a virgin watching this congratulations to you I applaud you because not that many people can say that especially your age um, I moved out to Colorado and the group that I was hanging around with, they would always, like, not, like, pressure me, but they would always be, like, dang, like, kind of make fun of me and throw it in my face that, oh, like, you're still a virgin, this and that. And so, at the time, I was just like, you know what, I am about to be 19 years old, like, I need to lose it already, I need to experience this, I need to, like, I'm a bottom, so I need to do what bottoms do. At the time, I was talking to my boyfriend, Gabriel. So, we were like, I would say four days into talking, guys. Four days into talking. So, bear with me. So, if, if you guys are new to my channel, you don't know who Gabriel is. Gabriel is currently my boyfriend. We've been dating for a year. So make sure to watch our videos. So, one night, I was chilling at home, and Gabriel was at the club. This is when we weren't, like, like I said, we were really, like, four days into talking, so. Gabriel had, it was, like, midnight, and Gabriel was like, what are you doing? Like, I want to see you, I want to pull up. Obviously, he was a little intoxicated, but, hey. So, I was like, yeah, you know, pull up, come through. And he, I remember, I was looking dusty. I didn't even care. I had joggers on. I had a gray hoodie. I had some slides. I was just like, what's up? Like, hey boo, it's midnight, like I was in PJs, whatever. So he comes, he picks me up, and I get in the car. 
and I'm just like, oh hey, whatever, and then he's like, do you know anywhere where there's like tellies, like let's get a telly, and I was like, what's a telly? He was like, oh, like a, a hotel, motel, like a hotel. And I was like, oh, me not knowing what the hell a telly. And after he said that, I was like, okay. And I'm not even ashamed to say this. Like, this was our first time when we met. Like, that was our first time ever meeting. Because I'm not ashamed to, sh to say this or, like, embarrassed. Why? Because I'm with him. Like, this is, a, like, this happened in March of last year. That's why I'm not really ashamed, um, so yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there before I continue this story because yes, the first day I met him, I gave him my virginity, but I knew that I was going to end up being with him. I really didn't know, but it worked out, it didn't it work, that's so crazy how it worked out, right? Right, I know, okay, let me get back in the story. Anyways, okay, back, I'm, I'm sorry, I keep getting off topic and off of track. Okay, so what was I saying? So he came, he picked me up, and I remember I was like, okay, whatever, like, we, up to this, we had, like, FaceTime talk, like, every day consistently, and this was literally the first time we met. I've seen someone I used to be really close with, um, texting him, and I'm like, hey, this and this is what's happening, and he's like, girl, <laughs> you are about to bottom. I was going, like, I thought we were really gonna chill, like, with Gabriel, he wasn't, a thirsty guy, he would never talk sexual, he would never ask for anything, so I'm like, okay, we're really gonna chill. In my head, I'm like, dang, am I ready for this? Uh, uh, so I was like, okay, whatever, you know what, I've been wanting to, so it's about time. And I literally was told myself, look, Christopher, you are 18 years old, you are a grown adult, you are about to throw that ass back, because that's what you do, and you're about to power bottom him 101. But when I say the complete opposite happened, Pull up to this hotel that was downtown, whatever. He, we both get off, and I remember looking at him, and I was like, "Dang, he's skinny." But I was like, mm, "Like, you know what they say about them skinny guys? You know what they say about them skinny guys?" So I was looking at him. I remember checking him out. I remember exactly what he was wearing. He was wearing some gray Adidas, some blue um, pants. And he was like just a normal shirt. And I remember looking at him like, "Okay, okay, he got some style. He got some little okay." Like, some little hot in it. There's like a room, it's two beds, whatever. So we go in it, we're chilling and stuff. And he's like, Oh, put something on the TV. He being me, I put the Kardashians. So there's two beds, right? And he's on the first bed when you first walk in, and he's laying like on the upper left side right here. And I'm way over here, and I'm just chilling, shy. Like, so he was like, Come over here, like, come more over here, don't become like. Don't get more comfortable, come over here. So I was like, okay, 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 okay. So, you know, I got more comfortable. I took my jacket off. I had, you know, a little cute long seat under. And so I go, I'm like, I sit kind of, I was like, I felt like I was, I was just really shy. I'm really shy. So I was like, uh, cause I was more nervous. Cause I'm like, dang, am I really about to lose my virginity? But I didn't care at this point. Like, yes, I did have the mentality that I was like, oh my God, I don't want to lose it to just anyone. but. I feel like this happened for a reason, like God wanted me to lose it to Gabriel for a reason because look, a year later we have our own apartment, thriving, we're building and we're growing together, like yes! He was like, can, he looks at me and he's like, can I get a kiss? And I was like, yeah, and so obviously from there, you know, it happened and went forward. So fast forward, he asked me, have you done this before? I don't know why. I lied, like, I don't know why. I dead ass looked him in the eye and I was like, Yeah, I've done it like about three times. I know what I'm doing. Yo, when I say I didn't know what I was doing, I'm gonna just start off by saying, if it's your first time, do not start off trying to write. Do not, like, do not. Unless you're really trying to jump up and touch the ceiling, I suggest you start off sideways. Me being me, I didn't expect it. I'm like, okay, like, it's not going to be as bad. It's not going to be as bad. Next thing I know, he pulls out. Okay, now, now, at this point, now, I'm just like, hold on. How in the, how, how am I supposed to fit that? No, 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 no. See, so now, at this point, now I'm kind of nervous. Now I'm like, okay, I might have to end up in the hospital. So, I'm laying sideways, right? And... 
he's like you know oh keep in mind like we four played like hella so it led up so i'm like i think i'm ready i think it's about time like i think he done fingered me enough so i'm pretty sure you know it's loose enough I'm here thinking like it's the whole thing in me i'm like screaming i'm in so much pain to find out it's barely the head the tip i was literally holding him like he couldn't you know do his thing because i was in so much pain and i was just like dang 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 and i've never experienced so much pain in my life to be honest that's why i say bottoming your first time does hurt because it does hurt it's not a walk in the park it's not gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy i mean unless his little thing like a little shrimp but we don't mess with that over here sorry honey i'm just like oh my god and the whole time in my head i'm thinking he is for damn sure knows this is not my first time like i know because the way i was acting and squirming and i was like he knows he knows whatever seven rounds later i only went to bed i ended up staying the night even though i didn't get much sleep ah. then the next morning um he had to go to work he woke up he got some breakfast me of course and then he showered and then he dropped me off and then he went to work and then yeah like ever since then like that day he dropped me off at my house he was like babe like from that day forward i was his like he so shout out to gabriel for tying a real one down so any advice i have for bottoming is don't lie if it's don't lie and don't lie about you know being a virgin and it's okay to want to wait and do it with someone you love or feel the right time it's okay if your friends are being little thotties let them be little thotties your body at the end of the day and in the long run it's your life so don't make no decisions you're gonna regret later on in life boo so i hope you guys really enjoyed this little video it was a little just a little bit r-rated that's you guys asked for the content and i am providing if you guys want to see me or gabriel do any particular video comment below make sure to smash this like button and don't forget to subscribe so until next time guys remember fatty chris loves you no stay clashy dashy